coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good evening and happy Independence Day. Well, here we go again. Today looks to be the start of yet another heat wave here in the Wabash Valley and a heat advisory has been posted for the entire News 10 viewing area. This is going to be in effect through Wednesday. So today's actually not quite as hot as it's going to get, especially tomorrow and Wednesday when those heat index values look to climb up to be as high as 110 degrees. So it's going to get dangerously hot again as we head into the middle of the week. Already hot enough now as we look at our current temperatures. 92 in Effingham, Terre Haute, Sullivan and in Rockville. It's 91 in Vincennes, 90 for Casey, 90 also in Lagodi and Paris is currently at 89 along with Mattoon and Brazil. But when you factor in the humidity, this is our heat index. So what it feels like if you're stepping outside today, 101 in Effingham, 100 in Flora, 106 up in Rockville. Heat index is 99 in Paris and Terre Haute and 103 down in Selvin. So again, these numbers are just going to climb as we get later on into the week. So if you're headed out to any firework displays tonight, it's going to remain a warm and muggy night at 9 o'clock, still at 88 degrees, and even at 10, we're still at 83. With a partly cloudy sky, it will only drop down to 81 at 11. So temperatures should be in the 80s for a good chunk of the evening before we'll only drop down into the 70s as we go into the overnight hours. Just a light breeze out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So that might be a good thing, help blow some of the smoke away from the uh, fireworks. Now as we get into the next five days, here comes the even hotter temperatures. Tomorrow we're forecasting a high of 97. That's about 10 degrees above average. And Wednesday is going to be almost equally as hot, 96. Now, as we get later on into the week, we look to cool down a little bit. That's because we're going to have a better chance of some showers and thunderstorms. And that should help cool our forecast down a little bit, hopefully making it back into the 80s by the time we get to the weekend. So you look at the clouds and radar this evening, you see most of the shower and thunderstorm activity has stayed to our north through the afternoon. That's giving us lots of sunshine. But notice how the system is starting to take a little bit of a southwest or southeasterly trend. So this may graze areas closer to Interstate 74, but I still think most of the Wabash Valley are going to stay dry through the overnight hours. But this is going to be a similar setup through the rest of the week. We're going to have multiple rounds of showers and thunderstorms dive in from the northwest. So here's a look at futurecast through this evening. Again, most of us going to be staying dry. Futurecast indicated we may see a few isolated showers in the far north northern part of the News 10 viewing area yet tonight, but still I think most of us will be dry tonight. As we get into Tuesday, Futurecast really not bringing in too big of a chance of rain. You can see some activity farther off to our east. If this were to shift a little bit and come farther to the west, that would increase our chance of rain. But as of right now, I think Tuesday is going to be a mostly dry day as well. It's going to take us into Wednesday, maybe some isolated showers as we get into early Wednesday, but a better chance of some showers and thunderstorms developing as we get into Wednesday afternoon. Now, if we need some good news with the rain, it'll also help ease our pollen counts, especially as we get later on into the week when that chance of rain will be a little higher. So for tonight, 75, partly cloudy, warm and muggy for any of those firework displays. Then for tomorrow, 97, again, an isolated shower and thunderstorm chance, but the heat's going to be the main story tomorrow. With heat index values as high as 110, and only dropping down to 77 tomorrow night. As we look at the next seven days, again, a daily chance of those showers and thunderstorms. We may have a greater chance of that by the time we get to the end of the week as that cold front brings in some weekend relief.